Hi, I hope you all had a good weekend. I'm going to show you our new exercises of the week. As always, starting with upper body strength, we have shoulder press with partner. If you don't have a partner, don't worry, I don't either. I'll show you how to do it, but if you are going to have a partner, I'll also explain how you would do that. So, for the shoulder press, you are going to be sitting on your bottom with your legs crossed, and then you're just going to put your arms up, so you want your palm facing towards the ceiling, and you want your elbows bent to start. If you have a partner, they will be standing right behind you. So let's say I have that person sitting right where I was. I'm standing behind them. Where their hands are facing up, I just put my hands down right on their hands. And when they put their hand on yours, they're not gonna push down and make your elbows go down. They just wanna put a little bit of pressure because you're going to be pushing up and then you'll have some resistance to push up against. If you don't have a partner, you can use weights if you have them, or if you don't, you can use um, a couch or a pillow from your couch, a water bottle, or anything. I have a twins bobblehead box that was sitting here with the bobblehead in it, and this that were on the shelf. So I'm just going to put one in each hand so I have that little bit of weight as my resistance, and then I'll straighten my arms and bend so my elbows come to a 90 degree and then straighten again so you're just pushing up against that pressure if there's hands on you or against the weight that you're holding and then bending back down to your 90 degree and pushing up again all right next up is middle body which is abdominal flutter kicks this week for those you'll be laying flat on your back to start and when you're laying on your back, you're gonna have your arms at your side and your palms you want face down against the ground. I'm actually gonna scoot up so that you can see my feet. So you're just keeping your back flat on the ground the whole time and your palms down. But with your feet, you're going to be keeping your legs straight for the most part, just a little bend in your knee as you lift them up. You want them to be about six inches off the ground, so not as tall as your foot, but just a little ways into the air. And then you're going to, like with scissors, how scissors cross, you're going to pick up one leg and put it down as you pick up the other leg. So they pass by each other like scissors do. Lower body is squat jumps. So for squat jumps, you're gonna want to have a little bit of space around you just because your arms will be moving, but you don't need too much space. You're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms at your side. And then you're going to go down into a squat, just like you normally would, where you keep your chest up, bend at the knee. And as you go down for your squat, you're gonna bring your arms back behind you. So starting standing, go down with your knees and back with your arms. And then when you go to straighten your legs, you push off with your feet. So you're gonna jump up into the air. And as you jump, your arms are gonna come above your head. Okay, so that was slow. I'm gonna do it in real speed now. And then you come back. And when you land, you don't need to keep your legs straight because that'll put a lot of pressure on your knees. So when you land from your squat jump, you can have a little give in your knees to help you absorb the shock. All right, last but not least is flexibility. Bridge with leg reach this week. So for that one, you're going to be again starting by laying on your back on the floor with your palms facing down at your side. And then you have, I'm gonna scoot up so you can see my feet more. So both feet are flat on the ground, but because we're doing a leg reach with our bridge, when I go to do my bridge, I'll have to pick one up into the air. To do a bridge, you push down on your heels to lift your hips up into the air. So you're gonna keep your palms at your side while you do that, and we're doing our leg reach. So I'm gonna pick one foot up in the air, leave the other one flat on the ground, push on that heel to lift my hips up, and as I push my hips up, I'm straightening that leg, and then I'm gonna hold my hips up Hold that leg straight until my time is up. 
and then I'll go down, put that foot back down, switch my other foot to being in the air, and push down with this heel now. As I lift my hips, I'm straightening that leg and holding. Till my time is up, and then I lower back down and put my foot back down. And that is all of our new exercises at the